As the trial of the four men accused of plotting to kidnap the governor enters its fourth week, the fight to keep a key FBI informant off the stand continued. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker has covered this trial from the start at the federal courthouse in Grand Rapids. Defense attorneys are still pushing to get a key informant to testify in this trial, which they believe would help them prove that their clients were entrapped. They've asked the judge to compel him to testify. We're going through the motions with Mr. Robeson, so we'll see what happens on Wednesday when he comes into court. Federal prosecutors have pushed to keep Stephen Robeson off the stand, saying he could face criminal charges, that he actually became a double agent and helped in the kidnapping plot. Now, Robeson is weighing in, asking the judge not to compel him to talk, fearing he could face new charges and that anything he says could be used against him. Not only that, Robeson's attorney says his testimony could show that the suspects were predisposed to commit the crimes that they're charged with committing. That could be enough to prove they were not entrapped. Robeson is expected to appear before the judge on Wednesday without the jury to determine if he'll have to testify. His local appointed attorney told Target 8 that defense attorneys will get nothing more of Robeson than his name. The defense wants more. Okay, obviously, Robeson does not want to be here. That He's made very clear that he doesn't want to be here, and the government's made very clear they don't want him to be here. We're going to see what the judge does with that. Also in court today, one federal agent after another took the stand. That included an undercover FBI agent who poses a bomb maker named Red, who reached a deal to sell $4,000 worth of explosives to the suspects. The feds say they hope to wrap up their testimony by tomorrow, which means the defense could start on Wednesday. In Grand Rapids, Ken Colker, News 8.